why a student should choose Janaki Medical College. Our institution will speak for itself. In quality of education, where you stand? We have been taking care of medical students since 21 years. Medical education is more about practical exposure. So the student can easily cross the border. Even for students, there is no requirement for any category of visa. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the another episode of uh, Clickcast. Today uh, we have very unique institute from Nepal. Majority of students are concerned about the passing in FMG exam. So today we have an institute where majority of students those who are coming back after graduating from there they pass the FMG exam. Uh, I have with me uh, Dr. Lokeshwar Chaurasia and Mr. Uh, Shrimani Pandey. He is the director. and he is the hod of pharmacology welcome uh, to our click cast how do you guys feel we feel good to be a part of this click cast i feel honored to be here thank you all right so let let's start with the uh, college first why uh, a student should choose janaki medical college if he or she is having multiple choices in nepal okay so to know this uh, we need to know the college history at first yeah so it has been a college since 21 years and that makes a pretty good experience in this medical field so it is not that we are the first time appearing for this medical student so we have been doing this taking care of medical student since 21 years so this could be a factor in one one of the factors for selection of the students to our college the other thing is we have a good academic environment we have as you rightly said number one rank holders or who immediately pass the MCI examination or the licensing examination. So we are pretty good in that, and because of that, these are just one or two factors. And I think we'll be talking about these factors more in details again. How uh, easy for you to convince a student to come to Nepal? It's not that easy. What I felt after yeah. coming to this expo, convincing the students, because we literally have a single student from the south part of India who was enrolled just last year. So the major query was. are there any students from our region mm -hmm. so it was hard to convince them in that situation but for other nations or other universities they already have a lot of student from this region so mm -hmm. they are pretty good and the students are feeling pretty better that they can join those colleges because they have uh, seniors or their brothers residing in those part as students which is a tough part for us however we have been trying to counsel them to join our colleges as uh, it is very near to the border of bihar and it takes approximately 1 hour to reach our college itself and besides that there is no need of visa or a passport mm -hmm. so the student can easily cross the border they can come to us or the parents can easily come to us they can view the college and then they can think of okay let's get that so even even for students there is no requirement for any category of visa they not can required. come down and uh, they can study they can stay no visa extension nothing is required nothing is required just they need a aadhar card that also on legal <coughs> constraints if required mm -hmm. otherwise the people here the students here look similar to us mm -hmm. if they talk in hindi that's fine nothing else is required there all right what's janaki medical college is providing in quality of education where you stand so since we are talking about the results results come out of hard work yeah. it is not a day work that will give the results yeah. so we are putting the students right from the first day into rigorous teaching learning activities yeah. and to say that we follow the curriculum of tribhuvan university which is one of the oldest university of the world and the first university of nepal and that curriculum includes all the things that is also taught here in india also okay. in the medical course so since there is study somewhat 99% the same curriculum and the questions of fmg are from that only so it becomes easier for them and again saying it is our hard work the student hard work of 5 and 1/2 years which really makes it possible to stand as the first one to pass in the fmg examinations and also the the students who are coming from nepal uh, actually even while i was doing my internship Uh, back in 2015 so there are a lot of students from nepal uh, who was also doing internship with us so i have particularly seen in that the, that this fashion like uh, nepali students when the indian, indian doctors who uh, passed out from nepal they are very will, will very good at uh, practical actually yes so actually i was asking them uh, like how is this and they are telling like from in nepal the system is same like india the hands on experience are really good So what is your take on this sir So what you have heard is absolutely correct and this has been possible because of the national level policy mm -hmm. like we enroll the students 
from Nepal as well as from India, which, uh, which we have a foreign category. And what he said, we have 33% seats for foreign categories. Mm -hmm. And for these 33% students, we don't keep them separately. Mm -hmm. They study hand in hand with the Nepalese students. Mm -hmm. Either it is theory, either it is practical, or it is the ward posting, or it is the OT, operation theaters as well. So it is like for the first few months, they feel like they are outside India. Mm -hmm. But after that, they feel like they are their colleagues. They work with the Nepalese students. Mm -hmm. So because of that, they are good at everything. Similarly, the language is almost same. Okay. Other than the Malayalam that we are talking here, yeah, Hindi yeah. is understood by 90-95% yeah. yeah. of the patients, which true. makes them good at the treating yeah. the patients. And 90 to 95% of the things are, even in the market, it yeah. is in Hindi. So it is uh, easy for them to stay there. And it is easy for them to learn with the patients. Understood. Because I think other countries, they might have a problem with communication with the patients. But in our part, it is quite easy to communicate Understood. with the patients. What about uh, quality of uh, teachers and professors? How qualified they are at your institution? Like, uh, What is your process of selecting a professor? So the quality of professor or any faculty is determined by the university itself. The Tribhuvan University commences interview as well as MCQ examinations for lecturers for associate professor as well as for professor. Once they qualify the examinations, then only that person is said to be an associate or a, to be a professor and then he or she practices with that level. So it is exactly saying the university decides the quality of the professors mm -hmm. or the faculty. Is, is there any selection process of uh, Janaki Medical College also or they just go through Tribhuvan uh, University and then they come to? Uh, the first thing is uh, we enroll the faculties okay. based on their experience. Okay. like. To be a lecturer, the minimum quality is he or she should be having a master's degree mm -hmm. or a MDMS degree. For basic science, he or she can have a master in the respective mm -hmm. subject or a PhD degree. And for clinical sciences, it should be a MDMS degree or DMMCH mm -hmm. degree. Mm -hmm. Once they are enrolled, then they need to apply for the post verification process mm -hmm. to the university and then, okay, you are a lecturer or associate professor, depending on the results that is decided. Hmm. So it is all a way of selection. Besides that, the faculties in our part, they have to be trained. Uh, six days training is held for faculty development training in which they are extensively asked or they are taught the way how they should be teaching. So this hmm. greatly influences the teaching activities of the faculties. And in a way, I have also received the same training. And after that, I feel I know what the students want to mm. hear. So mm. The teacher's training makes the teacher a real teacher and he or she understands what the student want to learn. And accordingly, based on the psychology of the students, the students are taught. So hence, the students get a better way of understanding. Right. So that is, if the teachers understand the psychology of the student, it is easy for the student to grasp what the teacher is saying. Mm. Otherwise, it would be just like one way. Yeah, so it is. Uh, two-way mm -hmm. model of study plus we also have this spice model what we follow in the teaching learning activities which means it is student center problem based interactive and community oriented mm. and it is as per the requirement of the situation actually uh, when we were studying in our med school at that time uh, there was a very good system that only 10 or 12 students can be a part of uh, a teaching class. So what is the student to uh, teacher ratio at uh, Janki Medical College? So currently in the basic science per 10 students we have one faculty. Okay, all right. These should open standards. Whereas yeah. in clinical sciences per 6 students we have one faculty oh. currently. Okay. So in totally like in one index how many students will be there? It is decided by the Medical Education Commission of mm. Nepal. Nepal okay. The seats can vary to maximum of 100. Okay. The maximum seats allocated is 100, so not more than that. You are like out of 100 seats, 33... 33% uh, 33 okay. is allocated to foreign students. Foreigners. Yeah. So once they see these Indian students, they are also staying with the uh, Nepali students in their hostels or how they are finding the accommodation? So the accommodation is same. Again, I repeat, the classes are same, the canteen is same, the hostel is same, the playground is same, all is same. No differentiation between the foreign or the Nepalese students. Okay, okay, that's great. The Nepali food is kind of similar to Indian food only, yeah? But uh, in that, I would like to say that we are a bordering nation yeah. and our college is still closer to the Bihar border. Okay. Mm. So the food habit generally consists of this rice, dal, dal roti, roti, sabzi. That is the basic food 
So basically what, what everybody is eating yeah. in India. Is other than it. that, we have a canteen which serves the continental foods and other specially ordered foods. Okay. They okay. do serve there. So how big is the hospital? Like uh, how many bedded are these hospitals? It's 525 bedded hospital okay. with different specialities and service specialities where okay. the students are posted as per the schedule. In India, when they choose a university or a medical college, the main concern of parents and students is always about how many patients they will see in a day because medical education is more about practical exposure. So at Janaki Medical College, what kind of uh, practical exposure they can... Okay, the concern of the students is true or the parents is also true because it is a technical course. It has to be done on the patients, not on dummies, yes. not on simulation. So starting from the first year itself, we do some simulation exercises because there this is the phase of basic yeah. science. Mm -hmm. But from third year onwards, they are exposed to the OPDs, to the wards, as well as OT under the supervision of the consultants. Now, the patient flow is determined by the quality or by the level of the hospital itself. So we are a tertiary care level hospital, okay. which yeah. means that mm. patient is adequate in number. However, if you want the number itself, it ranges from 500 to 600 OPDs per day. Per day. So it is quite enough mm. for the students to be exposed for a good yes. practical knowledge. Yeah. And what are the major specialties uh, which you have at your hospital? Besides the general medicine, surgery, gyne, pedia, we also have a speciality of cardiology and we are about to start neurology. Uh, like a lot of students might be uh, viewing this video. Uh, how would you ask them to come down to only Janaki Medical College? We are fairly confident that Janaki Medical College will speak for itself okay. once you come and visit us. The place, the climate, the culture, Whereas also the culture within uh, the four corners of Jantikim Medical College, uh, we are confident enough that uh, our institution will speak for itself. So uh, this was Jantikim Medical College with us today. And uh, as they have rightly said that uh, there are two or three bigger challenges uh, when students they are uh, looking for medicine abroad. One is uh, FMG passing. They are one of the best in Nepal. Uh, one is patient exposure. They have more than 500 patients every day on OPD basis. And on top of that, this they are recognized with uh, Tribhuvan University, which is one of the oldest in the world and in Nepal. So if you are looking uh, forward to take admission in Nepal, uh, you can go visit them, look the campus by yourself, see how many patients you are getting in one day and then get your admission done. So stay tuned for our next episode. Thank you. Thank you.